all right everybody welcome back to the channel if you're just joining in thanks for watching either way now if that's out of the way today we're going to be building a bracket for this steering actuator or orbital or um, whatever you would like to call it it is going to be mounted right in here making a pretty simple bracket for it it's gonna show you guys how I uh, work with some metal a little bit just gonna mark that and I've got it lined up there a pretty simple mark that one's gonna be a little bit harder a couple other ways of figuring out where to put this obviously but I'm lazy and this thing it does not need to be perfect it's not even in a place where people are going to be looking at it, so I am just going to line this up, take, put a mark there, put a mark there, pretty simple. So then, I'm just going to measure the distance from here to here. Looks like three quarter. Close enough. Somewhere in the center of my marks. I'm going to mark it three quarter. Oh, geez. I got enough paint there. Good enough. Uh, that is, that's pretty bad right there. Jeez. <laughs> Try this again. Something like that. Okay. So I transferred my marks over to the other side just so that it was easier to cut. What you're looking at here, the sun is not in the best spot for the camera here, is it? There we go, I guess. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of cut this out roughly. Start straight down just a touch. Went a little too far, but that's fine. See, I'm just kind of cutting triangles out of it. Okay. Went a little too deep with the first uh, triangle is why I had to do extra ones, but the more you cut out, the less that I'm gonna have to do with this here bench grinder, so. Some crack bitches. 
set up. That's it, good enough for me. Next step is we're gonna pinch this to it with the clamp and flip it over and we're gonna get marks for our holes go. Okay, so I went and got my pliers to go clamp it together and then realized I was overthinking that. I just set it down upside down. Took my center punch, which I couldn't get in there, so I got marks on both of them and then kind of lined it up and probably can't see it but i got some center punches and we're just going to drill it out size bigger and call it good is it recording it is okay all right set up on the drill press drill some holes nothing too fancy here little drill press does the job can't see my mark no light I think the light yeah the laser works but the light doesn't work that'd be too handy All right, let's see how it did. It's just a really quick, rough job here, so bear with me. Ooh. I think that'll do it. Okay. We will bring you back for the next step on this. All right, I had to bring you back. I drilled this out there, as you can see, one size bigger, just barely. Look at this. No way. Get out of here. Get out of here. Brought a New York accent from me, and I've only ever been to New York twice. <laughs> so, just gonna tighten.
loosen these up. So as you can see, that's pretty darn simple. Doesn't get much easier, especially when you drill the holes out. You don't have to bore anything or anything like that. That was that was nice. It doesn't happen every time, but I'll take it when it does. So now that I have this thing, it's going to get mounted something like so. Let's see. Just about like that, probably. Okay. like this and see I'll be able to kind of change the angle of it what I'm gonna do is you see the bottom uh, maybe you see it you see the big one there I'll put this down to show you this one here so we're gonna drill that out on this so that that's on that and, and it should act as a little bit of a pivot point which then once I figure out get once I get this all cut and um, distances figure out on that then wherever that needs to ride what we'll do is we'll just kind of use this little one here is a set screw this one will be taking the brunt of the force that'll just be kind of a set screw and we'll trim that down to to size so like i said pretty simple um just kind of a slap it on there bracket if you guys have noticed from watching me i do what i can with parts that i have around the shop i don't that was something at one point who knows and was cut off we used it for something else it's hard telling but there's pieces like that all over the place and um yeah I like to use what's in the shop as long as it's functional nobody's gonna see it under there so rock and roll i'll get another hole drilled and i will bring you back and show you what it looks like mounted on there okay so i told you i'd get a hole drilled and bring you back um but uh when I was to you guys it's just a couple of seconds but it's been a couple of days for me um, we uh, had a friend I had a friend stop by that needed help uh, installing a sound stereo in his uh, suburban and I uh, some of you guys don't know about me it's kind of a dark secret I I love my sound equipment um, I've had loud speakers in my vehicle since I could drive and now I've no exception now I've still got one of the loudest in town um, one of my dark secrets I'm not one of them guys that just drives around listening to it loud in neighborhoods just to annoy people though at least I can say that I have respect about it but um, but yeah anyway I had a friend of mine stop by and help him out and I haven't seen him it's him in a couple of years so it was nice kind of hang out with him and then yesterday uh, I took a video on here yesterday You guys remember how nice it was <sighs> and then mother nature just came in and like destroyed the dreams and aspirations of everybody that lived in the Midwest Let's see if I can show you see this I've decided that it was warm enough that I didn't need the you know need the facial covers and stuff you know Mother Nature's, uh, uh, what do you call it, Mother Nature's insulation. I decided I didn't need that, see. And then Mother Nature was like, no, nah, man, you messed up because, so yeah. But before that happened, we went out back to the junkyard, and we got that bucket which is a spool off of a 190 and we just kind of did some stuff and figured out how that's going to get plumbed in you see the way that the handles are here I've got a pretty good idea about that uh, we're just going to cut this I'm not sure where yet and then uh, say so we're going to cut a notch out this is just one possibility we talked to a couple people about it cut a notch out you say and then just take a pipe and stick it into that notch and weld it and I, I say stop recording here I should say pipe but I should say rod um, 
I thought about just using these, but I actually want to, I'm going to repair this and try to sell it. Somebody somewhere probably has a use for this. They didn't make very many of these D19s. It's like 2,500 or something total built. Um, but anyway, they, I'm going to fix this anyway. I don't think that I should, this is something that I don't think that I should destroy. Um, so if anybody needs one, here it is. You give me an offer on it without it fixed or wait a couple of months and it'll be uh, perfectly fixed and functional which mainly it just needs these cast iron things weld it back on there and then they're they're kind of stiff so this one isn't this one here was kind of a oh yeah now that it's not in the system it's not but anyway I might take the valves apart clean the valves up see if there's anything in there sticking springs stuff like that um, yeah shop was getting a little out of hand so we picked up in here made it functional again um, you know I've heard of having extra parts when you're done with the project man but this is getting a little out of hand <laughs> this stuff right here is all not extra this is the uh, filter off of that 190 that we'll be putting into that system Obviously a new filter, but that's the the holder for it. But yeah, we got uh, things going. I'll show you this here. Um, I've actually got this tack welded into spot with my little chintzy welder. This thing is a piece of junk. It's getting bad. The adjustment here for the wire feed. It's like, I mean, you move it a millimeter and it's like changing two or three different settings. So I'll be going, it'll be laying a nice bead down, and then all of a sudden that thing will just take off and start shooting wire out, and all of a sudden I got all this bubble gum everywhere. Oh, it drives me nuts. I basically taught myself how to weld on this welder, and it, it used to be pretty decent. You know, I could get it, even with no experience, I could lay some pretty nice beads with it. Now it's just, every once in a while it just wants to take off on me, and um, it's definitely time to invest in the new welder. I've, I've heard Lincoln is pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know what you've had luck with. And don't tell me Maxis. Just don't do it. That thing needs to be lit on fire. <laughs> it's it's probably, I mean, it's probably five or six. No, it's probably like ten years old. Uh, I've done quite a lot of work with it. These here, here, you can see these. They're not excellent, but I'm not a professional professional welder. I can't get it to focus in on it very good, but they're not they're not great beads. And that one right there got a little little bit out of hand, but it's not coming off of there, you know. If you wanted to take some time and grind it down, it looked just fine. But now it's just well. I'll, I'll show you. That. I'll show you. Uh, I'm almost embarrassed. Well, I am embarrassed. How about that? Bubble gum. All that right there. You can see here it was laying it pretty flat and digging in pretty good. But then right there it just started just sending it. And I tried turning it down and adjusting it. It just wouldn't. So I said screw it. I had it good enough. And this is just a tack weld. I'm going to have my brother. You notice I put them on the bottom where nobody could see them. I'm going to have my brother take his TIG welder. And actually put, you know, put some good beads on there. So, as you can see, we got this turned all the way through its motions. Uh, we went back and forth with it. Both directions seems pretty good um, we're right at the throw on that too so that's really nice uh, both ways we got that center good so that's pretty much where that's got to be got to be an interesting bracket on there but I think if I take some time and make a little bit extra metal we'll just make a nice flat piece that comes down see kind of like so so then it'll actually cover this up a little bit and then just have a just a bracket going out to it to hold that 
make sure that it's down so that this, you know, it can pivot that much. I think we'll be good to go. Like I said, just had to kind of take a step back from that. And, um, that's where we're at on that. Um, we got the steering here, which you'll notice this is unbolted because we were playing with this a bit. Um, we got to a point that uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I can't do it with both hands. I'll ha I got to change the adjustment of this because this needs to be over here just a little bit to get it to line up straight with oh excuse me to get it to line up straight with this so that's about where we're at right now um it is a brand new day and i'm going to end the video here uh however i'm going to keep working um i'll be uploading another video tonight i uh i have a video i put the link in the description for some reason, YouTube is acting like I have it as a um, as not listed. I don't know. I set it as public, and it's not it's not being distributed. So uh, that's uh, I'm calling that one Frankie Part Seven and a Half. So if you guys want to check that out, link will be in the description. Um, yeah. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the episode. Give me a like and a subscribe. All the plum, fun pleasantries of YouTube's. And we'll see you again on the next one.